the Genesis. What's up, freaks, beasts, and athletes? It's DC here with Genesis Strength TV. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to uh, train correctly if you are an athlete to make sure that what you are doing in the uh, gym and in your training is going to carry over uh, onto the field or mat or what, um, into whatever sport that you are participate in. Um, the easiest way to do that is what I talk about um, is you want to actually train backwards. Um, training backwards means that you um, take the sport that you play, look at the uh, you know the position that you do, and from there look at film, um, look at the movements that you are always doing, or the positions that you're in, or what's asked of you to do or accomplish um, in that sport and start working backwards and seeing how you can apply those type of movements and, and uh, positions into a solid and uh, sound training program using uh, quality strength conditioning uh, principles and philosophies. Uh, for example, if you saw the uh, sandbag video that I did for um, wrestlers and um, grapplers, I came across that because I had been watching a lot of uh, jiu-jitsu uh, stuff um, on TV, um, on YouTube, because I was just curious, wanting to see different ways to train them, um, since we've had some more interest in the uh, at the facility with, uh, with fighters. Um, I noticed, you know, they're constantly um, grabbing each other, holding to, onto, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> their geese, holding to, uh, you know, no matter where they are, they're attempting to, to never really let go and give up position on their opponent. And that's why I came up with the sandbag uh, movements that uh, they, you know, are, are plugged into that kettlebell, or I'm sorry, into that sandbag circuit while you're moving around, pressing and pulling and rolling um, and never letting go. So it hammers kind of the exact same type of movements that a, uh, a grappler or a wrestler even is going to be using. Um, another example is I want you to take a look at this uh, clip from one of our athletes uh, in football last year. He may look, uh, maybe you're familiar, you may have seen the clip uh, a few times. Um, but take a look at it, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about how he came up with the uh, training behind it and show you a clip of that as well. So there you go. There's both clips. Um, the first one is the training. Um, the training kind of, we broke it down as I was thinking as a defensive lineman, um, outside of just lateral movements, which we hit in an earlier workout, you know, what are the, uh, the two positions that they are really going in um, and they have to uh, be able to transfer power with quickly. And one is uh, going up to bat down passes and uh, going up to getting the quarterback's passing lanes, knock down balls, um, and, you know, luckily pick something off like that, and then land, right when they land, they're changing direction, um, and more often than not, they land and they're still going after the quarterback in that straight linear line. Um, it just benefited even more, J.J., um, with that type of training because it actually went hand-in-hand -hand perfectly with what he was doing. So... You know, the biggest thing I want you to take out of this is to make sure that, that what you're doing in the facility or what you're doing in your training program isn't, you know, as solid, is still based around strength, but is going to be done so in a way that's going to mimic what you do on the field or at the very minimum supplement uh, the movements and exercises, things that are asked of you to do in your sport. So when you, do, when you are placed in those situations or asked to do those specific uh, movements, not only will they be exceptional, but they will also be powerful um, and uh, strong and done as athletically as possible because that is exactly how you trained in the gym. Um, now, don't take it to extremes, and I'm not saying um, BOSU balls and Swiss balls and, and bands wrapped all around you or whatever 
crazy thing you might think of. Um, I'm just talking about, you know, use solid strength conditioning principles, stuff that works, and try to incorporate movements that you are doing in the, uh, at, in the field or uh, progressions or transfers and put those into your program. So I hope that helps, and I hope that takes your, um, your off-season training to the next level. Um, be sure to check out the link below if you want to, uh, make, if you want to take your football off-season training to that next level. Um, down below is a, a link to take you to download some free uh, football training cheat sheets that I uh, put together to help make sure that you get the most out of this off-season. Appreciate it. I really enjoy it when, when you guys share this with other people. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed up in that up, upper corner, do that. And uh, check out the links below, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. The Genesis. Show my hardcore is, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yo.